What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. Today, I want to show you guys another Android 11 ROM called Revenge OS for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now this ROM is new to me, so without further ado, let's get into it guys. Okay, so going to the home screen, we can see that double tap to sleep does not work. We have the Google Now feed on the left, which is a good thing, I like that. And let's see what launcher comes with the ROM. So if we go to the settings, you can see we have the Pixel Launcher and Quick Step. I believe Quick Step is needed to put uh, the Pixel Launcher on this ROM. So now I install Magisk, but no matter how many times I try to launch it, it would not work for me, guys. So you know what that means. That means that a lot of the apps that will look for root are not going to work here. So for example, Pokemon Go, it's not going to work. A lot of the banking apps might not work. I had half and half on that, but uh, if we go to Google Pay, we know it's not going to work because it's going to detect it. As you can see, it says that we couldn't set it up. Now, if we go to uh, the NFC, same thing with other ROMs as, as well. The button, you can't press it, but you know that it's on if you long press it. I mean, I couldn't test it for you guys, so don't quote me on that. Uh, hopefully, I can test it in the next time. Now, moving on to the refresh rate here. The 90 hertz, 90 frames per second is working great. No issues whatsoever, guys. Moving on to network and internet here. We do have Wi-Fi calling, but you're going to have to turn it on yourself because it comes off by default. So just remember that. So go ahead and turn it on and we're good. As you can see, we have other settings here. As far as battery goes, guys, this ROM, it's okay. You get at least five and a half hours. Now let's go to display. We have a dark theme. We have the status bar, so we could turn off any icon that we don't like. We also have, you know, the wallpapers, the usual. We get one custom wallpaper in there. Here you go, Revenge OS. Let's move on to the colors. Here is where you normally would choose that, but we know it's not here. So we'll come back to that. Now, if we go to the lock screen, here we have all the options. You could even turn on the ambient display here or turn it off. Now, under sound, we have all the normal options. There's no Dolby Atmos, none of those special other features here. So let's move on to security. We have screen lock, fingerprint lock, and smart lock, but no face on lock. So if you were looking for that, it's not here. If we go to the OnePlus setting, we do get the DC dimming, high brightness mode. And here is what we're looking for, panel mode. We get all these options. We got the RGB mode, we got DC IP3, the night mode, and the white color mode. So choose what you like. And we also get an auto fresh mode, but you know me, I'm always gonna keep it at 490 hertz. So let's go ahead and keep that on. And uh, moving down to the notification slider, we have all these options here. You can choose to leave it at default or change it to your liking. We go to system, here is where we go to change gestures. For example, if you wanna, Change your double tap gestures. They work on the lock screen, but like I said, they don't work on the home screen. We also have the system navigations here. Customize whatever you want. You can have your two button, three button, or the full screen gestures here. And you could even adjust them accordingly. We also get a power menu, but we don't have other options. We have the swipe to screenshot, so you can turn that on and off. And we are running the latest Android 11, as you can see. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you guys is that if you search for some apps like Netflix on the Google Play Store, you're not gonna find them. You're gonna have to silo them. 
I couldn't even find the DJI Fly app for my drone, but I siloed it and it worked. Now, what can I say about this ROM, guys? I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told you with the other ROM that we tried last time. Yap. As much as I wanna recommend it, I would say just wait for a couple of new updates so that it's ready to go because right now it's missing features. The battery is not all that yet, but it's promising. And with that, guys, I gotta say thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you all for likes. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video.